we are still thanking you people and thanking God too. And uh, I'm just telling you that Padota uh, Nangoja, we had no information from the either DCI office or any other office, but we are still waiting. Uh, in any case, come up to any information, we will let you know you people because you are wonderful. We need to meet my mambo if you mali mefika. Natuna shukuru sana kwa pahali mambo imefika. And also I'm thanking you so much because it is because of you people. Uh, Sirikali liweza kusikia kilio chetu. Paka tukafikia kiwango ya kufukua ule mwili ili ufanyo pelelezi upia. Natuna shukuru sana kwa sababu mungu ni muema. Na ni muema kila wakati. So we are waiting. It is the middle of the week. Na kuna wakati lazima tuwapati wale investigators iliweza kufanya mambao kulingana na sheria. Tusije tuka push, tusije tuka pressure, uh, tiwafanya hivi na hivi because there are people who know what to do and that's the reason why they exhumed the body. So we thank God for that. So we are waiting and anything we let you know. But as a family, we believe everything is okay. Mamba naendelea salama salmini according to me and according to family na in any case we are just there with you people and i thank you a lot whether kulitokea mambo hapa na pale iko sangi yale but i thank god everything is wonderful uh, the only thing i'm trying to tell you people we are not relenting on this until you get justice for jeff but also it is good to respect the government investigative organs ili wafanye upelelezi wao kwa njia ambao ni ya haki because ukiangalia vizuri last time when kindiki said uh, that case to be investigated again we have seen a lot of progress and that's why we are pleading with you people too let us give them time but we are still pushing for this and it is good also to respect uh, these organs, investigative organs. Ili, by the time this report imekua released kwa, kwa DPP, we are the best one. And I told you last time, ya kwamba, these guys according to me and according to lawyers and according to everybody who was there and concerned, this, this investigation, these guys wameifanya vizuri. Everything that we expected has gone uh, had gone so well. So we thank you, people. We thank you. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. We respect you a lot, and may God always be with our country. And uh, <coughs> because this case, in our tuengi sana wahusika, kiangalia katika pale redwood kulikuwa tuna suspect six suspects. That is DJ Fatso, cousin, driver, and the three girls. Uh, we are waiting to hear from the DCI's office. Kulingana wao pia kumbuke ya kwamba kuna wale askari ambao wale twisty case pale kasarani. Of which last time when they said that uh, Jeff was killed, there was something like uh, these guys want to be investigated too. And remember too, there is another this, that there is also this Redwood caretakers whom they say that uh, uh, wa kwanda rooftop, mambo kama yale. I believe they are doing everything. So it's all inclusive and uh, the DCI office, I believe we are to release the best report to the DPP. So let us wait, let us give them time. Because we believe they are so much concerned. They are Kenyans. They are our, fa our fathers and mothers. They are wonderful guys. We believe everything wanna go right. So let us wait. Continue praying for us. We are praying for you too. And uh, this thing will come and pass. And also we believe even the, our parliamentarians, parliamentarians watakujua tengeneze hii mambo ya sheria. Hiyo mzuri zaidi. 
yeah let us wait o kenyans thank you Baada ya wiki moja ya uchunguzi upya wa kifo cha mbunifu wa mapambo Jeff Mwathi, wapelelezi kutoka idara ya DCI wamebaini kwamba kijana huyo wa umri wa miaka 23 aliuawa na hakujitoa uhai kwa kujirusha kutoka horofa ya kumi kama ilivyorekodiwa. Maafisa wa upelelezi ambao walichukua kesi hiyo kutoka kwa maafisa wa kituo cha polisi cha Kasarani wakibaini pia kuwa kulikuwa na mapambano ndani ya nyumba hiyo anakoishi msanii maarufu wa mugithi Lawrence Njuguna maarufu DJ Fatso ushahidi huu ukiondoa madai kwamba Jeff Mwathi alijirusha mwenyewe wachunguzi wanaamini kwamba Jeff aliuawa kabla ya kurushwa kutoka horofa ya juu zaidi awali ilikuwa imerekodiwa kwamba Jeff Mwathi alijirusha kutoka kwa dirisha ya upande wa chumba cha kulala dhana hiyo ikitupiliwa mbali kwani dirisha lenyewe ni ndogo kiasi cha kutotoshea binadamu kupita asubuhi hiyo ya tarehe 23 mwezi Februari wakati wa kifo cha Jeff watu watano walikuwa ndani ya nyumba hiyo iliyoko eneo la Roisambu akiwemo Jeff Mwathi maafisa wa upelelezi wanasema wote waliokuwemo naye usiku huo watakuwa wanaojiwa katika awamu ya pili ya uchunguzi watakaofika katika makao makuu ya DCI kwa maojiano pia ni maafisa wa polisi waliofika katika eneo la tukio wa kwanza na kuanza upelelezi wa kisa hicho wiki iliyopita waziri wa usalama wa taifa profesa Kithure Kindiki aliamrisha mkurugenzi wa DCI kuchukua kesi hiyo na kutanzua kitendawili cha kifo cha Jeff Mwathi tafadhali kwa heshima tafadhali tukizangu nini mjue hii kazi yote imefanyika hapa ni kwa sababu gani no heshima sana tafadhali isipokuwa ni nyinyi mali tumefika leo hatungekuwa wapi hapa kwa hivyo tunawaheshimu sana 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 lakini ndugu zangu acha niwaulize tu kwa heshima hii process kwa sababu ni nyinyi mliitisha hii process ni nyinyi mliitisha na imefika mahali imefika tafadhali tumkubali the investigation that is being done here ni the best ni the best acha niwaambie na tafadhali tu kwa sababu hii oda ambayo ilitoka kotini ya kufukua mwili wa Jeff na akaweza kufanyiwa postpone mpya ni nyinyi mliitisha lakini hiyo kotoda pia inasema wale ambao watapewa nafasi ya kuja kufukua huu mwili lazima warudishe mwili mahali ilikuwako that's court order but you let us as family twenda tuketi chini tutawaambia the way forward kwa sababu najua mna machungu wengine hawakuja mazishi wengine wangataka kuzika Jeff kwa heshima yes. tafadhali ndugu zangu hatutakosa jambo nzuri ya kuambia na waomba tu kwa heshima kwa sababu kwa sababu rafiki zangu isipokuwa ni nyinyi hii kazi yatunge kuwa tumefikisha hapa na tunajua haki ya Jeff itapatikana na haya makaratasi ama yale mambo yamepatikana hapa mtayasikia baadaye na ripoti mtaipata na wale waliohusika watakamatwa ninawaambia na hakikishia hivyo na nielewa tafadhali tu naomba tu kwa heshima kwa heshima tu tafadhali tu kwa heshima mmetufanyia vizuri isipokuwa ni nyinyi sisi mahali tumefika hata tulikuwa tumepumzisha mwili tulikuwa na machungu lakini ni nyinyi na maombi yenu mmetusaidia sana ndugu zangu dada zangu tafadhali ninajua umetoka mbali wengine wamekamatwa wengine wametukana kwa sababu ya Jeff na tumelia na mmelia sana ndugu zangu na waombeni kwa heshima kwa heshima tu kwa heshima tu tutapanga mpango mzuri kwenu lazima lazima tuwapea jawabu nzuri ili tuweze kusindikisha Jeff kwa heshima lakini kwa sasa tu tafadhali muachie maafisa ambao wako hapa tafadhali na chief aende nyumbani chief aende nyumbani msiwe maneno mengi kwa sababu baba Jeff sababu baba Jeff ameongea kwa niaba ya familia sina mengine ya kuongeza ila nawashukuru Mengine isipokuwa ni nyinyi haki yenge patikana si ni kweli kabisa walaki ni kuna kuna mikakati ama there's a procedure yenye inafaa kufuatwa mm. kwa toda venye ilitoka lazima ifuatwe mpaka mwisho unaona mm. so hii timu imekuja hapa we believe uh, imetoka from the highest office hata tukitoka hapa hakuna mali nyingine tunaweza aenda kutafuta haki so na waomba tu tuwapatie nafasi wafanye kazi yao wamalize si ni kweli sina maneno mengine na chief aende nyumbani chief aende chief aende nyumbani haya toa ile tafadhali naomba tu 
of Jeff Mwadi in this matter. I and a team of us, five others, have been following up this matter. Since when new evidence arose that there could be some, 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 some issues that were left out when the initial investigation was being done, which led to the burial of uh, our late uh, son, uh, Jeff Mwadi. So today, this, when the DCI head office took over, they've done this for some, I think now, three weeks. And from the statement they've taken, they saw it was necessary for them to have the body exhumed and maybe take the samples or do the investigation that had been left out. Today, that was done. And uh, I'm happy that the, the senior pathologist Obana uh, Johnson was here, and he did his part. Actually, today's date was the pathologist's day. The this here was just to bring him, make sure that the body is exhumed, and give him the opportunity to do what he was supposed to do. So, when uh, we came here in the morning, and when members of the public wanted to just come and uh, next to the gravesite, that was not so pleasing to the, to the DCI because for sure the moment that yellow tape is put, that area ceases to be, it becomes a no-go zone for, all, for, any, for the public and uh, the police officers are the ones who are supposed to take over and have their work done. That was done and I'm sorry that in the morning there was some uh, kind of misunderstanding which uh, Actually, the family felt that it ought not have been there had the members of the public understood what the yellow tip means. Okay? So, <clears throat> I'm happy that all has gone on well. Now the ball is on the court of the pathologist. He's the one to give his final and comprehensive uh, report on what he has found today. Maybe he'll compare with the other with the, with the post mortem that was was, uh, was previously given and the post mortem that he'll, he'll do the post mortem report that he'll, uh, he'll issue. So what I would urge uh, all of us and the members of the public is to continue. Let's wait and let's give them time for that report to come for the comprehensive report to come. Otherwise, if we push the DCI so much, maybe there are some things that might be left out. Uh, like today, they were not so happy. You see, they, had, they were about to abandon the, the scene. So kindly, I would request uh, all of us, members of the public, to cooperate with them. And as I had requested when I was at the DCI uh, head office, if there is any member of the public who would have information that things that would assist the, the DCI in getting more information, more evidence in this matter, kindly come forward and assist them. This is our collective duty, as I had stated. Let's assist them. They are our friends, they are our brothers, they are our fathers. So let's be friends to them, isn't it? So, so at least we make sure that justice for Jeff and family is finally found. Thank you. So, what are they specifically looking for today? Uh, <coughs> that question I will not be able to answer. The reason being that I'm just a lawyer and not a pathologist. Maybe, have, maybe have you received a timeline <coughs> as to when the pathologist will be here? Uh, uh, then I've, I've, I've not received uh, any timeline on that. So when? You see, he's just left a few minutes ago. So it will be hard for me to. To answer that. Maybe as a representative of the family, are you satisfied with the procedure and the process that are happening today? Yes, I am. Nilisikia kwa huzuni sana maneno ya kijana wetu mmoja wa hapa kaunti ya Nakuru kutoka Likia, ward ya Maunarok, 
Joro sub county Mwadhi maneno ilipofanyika And it is very sad ni huzuni mingi sana Na mimi kama governor wa hiyo family nasema we must have justice for Mwadhi Mtoto wa mtu hawezi wawa hivyo alafu it goes as business as usual Mwanati nyau Kanadia Kwa hivyo hata mimi nasimama na hiyo familia na nataka nishikilie where I can to make sure tumepata justice kwa hiyo mtoto. Na mwenye walimufanyia vitu mbaya kama wako wa, wa after the investigation, they must face justice. Hakuna two ways about it. Si ndio hiyo? We must be a country ya um, yani maneno imefika imekuwa mbaya sana. It is terrible. Na tuendelee kuombea watoto wetu. Si ndio? kwa sababu kuna shida na families za suffering na kuna watu wamejifanya kama wanyama na so that wengine wenye wanafikiria wanaweza huwa tu mtu na waendelee kuwalk bila anything we must make examples ya wale wenye wamefanya maneno mbaya so that mwingine kabla afanye chochote kwanza afikirie mara mbili mara tatu si ndio hiyo kabisa so we are together na lazima hiyo tusukume pamoja kabisa kabisa